Nein, doch. Ich, ich weiß, was du meinst, aber er will ja keine Beziehung. Oh, genau, das finde ich ja gut. Das habe ich nie gesagt. Ach so, das meinst du? Ja, nee, das, das, ähm, das habe ich gesagt. Aber das, das Ding ist, ich habe einfach nochmal in mich hineingehorcht und mich gefragt, so, was will ich eigentlich? This is regarding dog friend. This was interesting. It really kept me wondering where this was going in a good way. Um, I really liked the characters. I thought they were really specific. Um, and it really kind of posed the question to me in the beginning, would you rather be alone than deal with another person? <laughs> uh, maybe I'm the only one, but I really was thinking about that in the beginning when he was talking about being alone but not lonely and then, you know, choosing to have this person in his life. And then they start talking about racism and, and, and the guy didn't seem to want to spend the night. So I feel like he purposely didn't find the key to the um, handcuffs, but I wasn't quite sure at the end if he was hiding the key or really just found it. Um, I just felt like it was really, really well written because I think, you know, that kind of conversation is really delicate and really hard to have. It's, it's kind of like not talking about religion or politics because I don't think either person can be fully understood or it's just so hard. It's so hard to talk about. I think we just need to accept each other and, and know that we each have different, different experiences and everything affects us differently and try not to compete with the other person's opinion or compete with their experience. But yeah, it really was interesting and it was an interesting take on just relationships in general as well. And, you know, being alone and accepting other people or not into your life and who you accept. And I don't know, it just brought up a lot, even in just this short amount of time. I think it was like an 18 minute movie. Um, I thought it was really well done. Just made me think and question things. And I think that's important in a film. And I liked it a lot. Um, I like the end just with the key and yeah, um, good job to the actors. I thought, you know, for two people to carry a film, I thought it was really well done and the script was good, kept me interested and I liked the location and the, just the, um, editing and everything just really well done. So great job to you guys. This was an incredibly strong short film. Everything about this was done to such a, a high degree. The uh, writing is fantastic. The performances are great. The set is just perfect. It's just filled with, with life and color. Um, very interesting. Every shot, the way um, it's framed is very intentional. It's It does a great job at sort of keeping um, things dynamic, I guess, for lack of a better word, um, because what is essentially uh, just two people in an apartment talking, it never once for a moment feels like a talking heads scene, and it is just one large sequence. Um, and again, it was really well done, well written. Um, the way it ends is an absolute bang. I, I really uh, enjoyed that. Um, so yeah, great work all around. So I just got finished watching Dog Friend really enjoyed watching this film. Um, I thought it was really well done. Um, one thing that really stood out to me uh, about this film was the acting. Uh, I thought the director really managed to get some great performances here. Um, the actors really deliver their lines with a lot of soul uh, uh, and a lot of weight uh, behind it, I thought. Um, I also thought this film had a great aesthetic, uh, really loved the cinematography. I thought a lot of the camera work was super creative, um, you know, the way they used mirrors and, and door frames, um, all of it was just very creative. Um, and yeah, overall, I thought this was a really engaging film. It was layered, multifaceted, uh, and well-made. Uh, yeah, hats off to the filmmakers here. Uh, dog Friend. Um, dog Friend, uh, an intense uh, short movie um, where we have these... Um, relationship between Malik and Philip, um, they, they're having a good time, they're having a great night, but something goes wrong and, and Malik uh, uh, 
um, who comes from an underrepresented background, ends up in an argument against Philip, who's white and German, of oh, this a short takes place in Germany. Um, so the, we see the difference between the two. We, we see uh, how Malik does not believe in uh, what Philip has to say, and, and Philip's, Philip ends up being one of those people that say like, uh, um, all lives matter, basically. Let's say like that. He, he, he is one of those person that um, he just try always to find a way to to justify himself and saying like even if he is white, he, it doesn't matter because he, he also had, he struggles. But he Philip end up not getting the point of the conversation, and I I think this this is a really clever idea that uh, helps also in shining a light on a uh, important subject like racism, obviously, but also like the ending on the story where we don't really understand what's gonna happen to Philip now. Is he Mali going to? Uh, let him go, or they, I don't know, it's just gonna keep him there, okay, he's gonna uh, keep keep him in captivity, is 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 he, oh, it's quite intense finale, and I love the final close-ups, uh, so we can clearly see the the two opposite emotions of the actors, uh, very well done, uh, uh, very uh, intense film, congratulations. Dog Friend was a really interesting exploration in characters' experiences. Um, I think it, it did a great job of capturing a worst-case state scenario and also an interesting conversation between the two characters. And definitely there's a, an unsettling sense of suspense and fear about what might happen next. Uh, it makes for a very interesting film to watch. This film shows why you should discuss political opinions and affiliations before you start falling into a serious relationship. Because if they're vastly different, you begin name-calling, like Malik did, calling him a Nazi for a different opinion. Which is not valid, because it showed that he wasn't willing to listen to somebody else's opinion. He's right, everybody else is wrong. And Philip is kind of the same way, where he wants to talk, but he wants to change Malik's opinion. This is why you politics, whether we want it or not, are important in relationships and why we should talk about them. This film brought that very important element to the world, saying when you're in a relationship with each other, that there are things you have to discuss. There are things you won't agree with, but it shouldn't ever resort to name calling either. There are things we need in this world. It's, um, it's just one of those things that we have to. I would say at this film, it started out weird when Philip and Malik were opened the door to each other when they started passionately kissing. Um, most people greet each other with a peck on the lips, and then it turns to that when it's going to turn it into sex. Um, but the story was the story in general was well constructed to bring apart an important element of how important politics can be to a relationship and that you do need to discuss things with your partner whether even if they're hard topics to discuss vision is for dog friend they openly talk about racism specifically in germany towards turkey's um, income and population um, they also touch on the intersectionality with race and sexual preference um, it's just quite deep, very intense dialogue. Um, they they speak the truth about a lot of the commonalities that white people might use as an excuse or as a pretense to keep doing things they do. Um, I, lo I love the title, um, Hunted Point. It is when you learn why the title came to be and the analogy to having a dog, it's just, and then a relationship, it was just very deep. I really enjoyed the performances and the script as well. It was uh, a masterpiece. Dog friend. Um, I thought this was really intense and really 
interesting um this kind of the way that they set it up with him being handcuffed and obviously initially he's the one that wanted to leave and like he's the one that wanted to not stay the night and not talk about any of that but then he ended up being the one to like push for conversation and to like push for like getting into a deeper conversation um and then to have the kind of tables be turned again at the very very end when obviously like he had the key the whole time um I thought it was a really interesting kind of concept of like what do you do when you have to be in the same room with somebody like do you sit in awkward silence you try and make excuses do you actually have a conversation um so I thought that was like a really interesting way to kind of force the situation um that apparently they need to be talking about and need to be forced anyway but I thought it was really a really interesting way to go about it